we need a car grill for this room. I don't know where to go if we do. Unfortunately for me right now, this is not an auto-themed guest room. It's a French country theme with an antique feel, which means I have a lot of shopping to do. I love that there's a screen door. Daniel's Antiques in Lincoln Square is my first stop because as they say, if you don't know your antiques, know your antique dealer. And that's this guy. We've been doing this for 25 years. So whether it's, you know, period 18th century or 19th century or mid-century modern or anything in between, we're, we like it if it's, if it's nice. And I'm going to like it if it's French country and belongs in a guest bedroom. I'm hoping Dan can lead me to some winners once he sees Tony's inspirational room. Let's see, look at the photos here. This new technology. You know, I'm an antique guy. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm old school. You, know, it's, you don't know it's, about it's, this yeah, new yeah. made right, touch right, screen. Right. What's the difference between vintage and antique? Antiques are usually defined as 100 years old or more. So we like to call things that are less than 100 years old vintage. There's no strict so rules you're on vintage. that. There's no strict. Well, no, we have plenty of antique stuff here as well. No, no, so, no. So. Oh, me personally, yes. I'm, I'm <laughs> mid-century. And this mid-century man believes he's got some lighting that's going to work for me. Known as a bouillot lamp. A what? A bouillot. 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 So it is. Uh, it's a French. It's a French term for that type of candelabra. Oui, oui. This baby's wired and ready to go for a 21st century guest room. That now it looks. Oh yeah, look at that. I didn't. Awfully hear that. similar. I like when you enlarge the photo. Oh yes. My mid-century You can do that on the rotary phone. <laughs> This is Italian, circa 1940. I need to have a choice made circa Thursday. And while we're on lighting, I'm thinking this is the kind of place that might have a chandelier for me as well. This one is not completely restored yet. It's like here's the before and here's the after. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Dan's workshop is here in the store so that once I choose my antique lamps and chandelier, I can have them rewired and even customized with crystals and shades before I take them home. Lighting, check. This antique French country thing isn't so tough after all. In fact, there's a few other items in here that I think will work too. I think that's it. Perfectly distressed. Well, look at that. That's. Oh, looks that's like, pretty darn close. This one is probably big enough. It's almost big enough to be a bed covering or, oh or a table covering. I'm doing really well in this store. I'm an antiquer. I'm antiquing. And as I learned, more and more people like me are turning to antique shops to shop for their homes instead of the big chain stores. It's more and more people looking to decorate. They yeah. are exposed to more television shows that, that deal with decorating. You're welcome. I'm off to a great start with this room. And even better, now I know where to go if I happen to need the grill of a 1966 Dodge Polera. 1966, that's vintage.